Hi, I'm Steve Sloka. I'm part of the Contour team. And today I want to talk about a blog post that I wrote about how you can run Contour in Kind. If you're not familiar, Kind is a tool that lets you help build out local Kubernetes clusters using Docker containers as nodes. And this is really powerful because all you need on your machine is Docker, which means that this works on Linux, on Macs, and on Windows as well. Uh, so if you want to uh, learn more about Kind itself, you can come out here to the uh, Kind repo. And this is at Kubernetes SIG slash Kind. Uh, and here you can go participate in the community. Uh, there's a great Slack channel if you have questions or need some support or want to just chat about some, some features you want to add to it. Um, so I really, really encourage you to go out here to check that out. Um, there's also a lot of docs out at this docs webpage, which again explains kind of how um, Kind is built, some of the design principles behind why certain things are built certain ways. Um, so again, I encourage you to read through this as well if, if, you're, if you're new to Kind. Um, but today, today's plan, what I want to do is go through how we can basically deploy Kind to your machine. We're next going to go create a cluster with Kind. Once we have that cluster running, we're going to go and deploy Contour. And once Contour is running, we'll go deploy a sample application and we'll test the whole thing out end to end. Um, so again, if you're not familiar, um, what we're going to start out with is just deploying Kind. Um, so Kind, uh, here I have some examples of how you can do that. This is basically curling down a binary of a, of a known version. Uh, and this is this is based on a Mac, uh, but again, this may change based on your architecture. Um, so grab, grab, go grab the binary, uh, make it executable, and then move it to to your path somewhere. Uh, again, I'm putting it in my local bin. This may change based on how your, your environment is set up. So once you do that, what you have is basically you can run this kind command. Um, and what you can do is you can some things in here that you can do is you can build out images, um, you can delete clusters, you can create clusters. So the simplest command, once you get kind installed, is you can say kind create cluster. And what that will do is go spin up a one node cluster in your on, on your machine. Uh, but we want to do something different for this demonstration. What we want to do is go ahead and create um, a cluster, but pass in this config file. Um, and what this config file does is you can override some of the command line parameters. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to say, let's create a two node cluster. Um, and one node is the control plane, <clears throat> and the other node is the worker. And the worker node has um, <clears throat> two ports that it's going to expose. One is port 80 and the other one is 443. And this is how we're going to do some of our testing with Contour. Because what we want to do is we want to map um, Envoy, which is, gonna, is the data path component for Contour, map it to port 80 on our nodes, and then pass traffic through there. So then we can, again, simulate a real world cluster here on our machine. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, so what you would do is you would say create cluster, um, kind create cluster, and then pass in the config. Now what we've done is, if you follow along, there's a similar tutorial out here in our um, example in, in the Contour repo. Uh, but out here in examples kind, we have this file if you need to copy and paste it. And this follows along an example in the, in the, um, in the docs that Contour has. Um, so we'll go ahead and pass that and run that. Now in, in the sake of time, I've gone ahead and done that for you. And what you end up with are two containers, right? So we said we wanted two workers, and now we have two workers. Um, so what this first one is, this is the worker node, and then this bottom one here is the control plane node. Um, and you'll see here on the worker node, we've exposed everything to port 80. So from my host port 80 into the container port 80. And this is really cool. And this is, again, this is new in the 0.4 release of kind. Um, so anything older than that, you have to upgrade it to use this feature. Um, great. So this is really, this is really fantastic. But the problem is, is I have nothing in my cluster. So let's go ahead and... Um, uh, I'm sorry, let's go ahead and export our kubeconfig. Uh, cool, so this one. So this command, after you run the, the kind create cluster, you'll get this command prompted to you. And you can run this, and this will set your context, set your kubeconfig to your cluster. So now I can say kubectl get nodes, and I have my two nodes. Um, you know, kubectl get pods, and you'll see I have nothing on here yet. Okay, so let's go ahead and deploy contour next. Um, so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and, and deploy um, Contour in the split model. So this here, um, there, there's a diff bunch of different models you can use to deploy Contour. Uh, so the split model uses um, Contour deployed as a, as a deployment and Envoy deployed as a daemon set. And also Envoy is using host networking, which means that Envoy will bind its ports directly to the node which is fantastic because we have now our node mapping port 80 and 443 to our host. So um, we can go ahead and apply this. So if I go ahead and apply um, my hostnet split, 
you'll see it goes and creates a namespace, a service account, and a bunch of CRDs and certain things. So let's go ahead and take a look and watch these spin up. Um, so just downloading the image, they're getting running. Once they're running and they pass all the health checks, then we will go ahead and deploy the workload next. Uh, so waiting on Envoy. So again, Envoy is running as a daemon set here, and Contour is running as a deployment. And Envoy is mapping port 80 to port 80 on the host. Okay, fantastic. So that's up and running. So now what we can do is we can go ahead and deploy our sample application, which is this one. And we're using the, the Kubernetes up and running, or QWERTY, uh, application just to demonstrate this. And again, this is an example that lives in the Contour repo, so you can follow along with that as well. Um, so now if I say kube control get pods, we have three, rep three replicas of, these, of this QWERTY uh, deployment here. Cool, now it's up and running. So now in theory, I should be able to curl it. But the problem is, is that I don't have a way to get to my application. Um, part of this deployment here created an ingress route. So if I said get ingress route, you can see I have my quali fully qualified domain name is qwerty.local. Um, and this is a valid ingress route. Now here I'm demonstrating ingress route. This would work the same for ingress if, if you're interested, uh, but I'm just using ingress route. Just this is what I picked. So again, we need a way to find a way to map to this. Now, normally in the world, you would spin up uh, a load balancer. Say you're in AWS, you'd spin up an, you know, an ELB or some sort of load balancer from whatever, wherever you're deploying your cluster. Um, and you would map our DNS record to that load balancer. And that load balancer would then map to all of the envoys in the cluster. So you would spread out the traffic across those, those number of envoys. Um, but here, I don't have a load balancer because I'm running locally. But what I can do is I can go ahead and fake this with uh, my Etsy hosts. So if I do... Um, edit my Etsy hosts, what I can do is I can add qwerty.local and I can say it's at 127.0.0.1. And what that means is that any request to localhost is going to map to this name. Or, I'm sorry, this name, well, I guess, will resolve to, to localhost. And this works because my kind cluster is running on localhost, essentially, because we've mapped localhost 80 to 80 in the, in the container or the node running, running our Envoy. So now we have a full end-to-end -end kind of solution. So let's hop out of here. Um, and we have our application is running. We tested that. So now we just should be able to go to um, our, our, our address. So we'll go to HTTP, QWERTY.local. And there we go. So there's our application running. Um, now we haven't deployed TLS or anything, which is why we're seeing this not secure. Uh, but we can verify really quickly that this is actually the right cluster. Um, so this QWERTY um, pod is kind of neat. It has a bunch of different things about the server environment, and you can manage liveliness probes and readiness probes and, and test out how certain things work um, with your deployments. Uh, but what I want to show you is that this is the pod name here at the top. So if I go ahead and say kube control get pods, what you'll see is this one is rbm2l, and I have one here, rbm2l. If I refresh this page, I'll get a new one, jmvbc, and I have jmvbc. There you go. So you can see that this is the, this is the um, the mapping between between the the application running and my my uh, kind cluster that I have up here running as well. Um, cool. That's all I have to, to talk about. Um, please join us in the community. Um, if you're interested in more, please find us on Twitter at Project Contour. Uh, we're in the Kubernetes Slack at hashtag Contour, and you can also find us at GitHub, which is at heptio slash Contour. Thank you very much.